one of the things I'm planning to do is actually to start teaching classes online so I can demonstrate things and they can watch me and then they can share and I can watch them and coach them. This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good day, good day, Delia Ethy. Previously, episode 845 of the 12 Minute Convos podcast, which puts us around 2 years, 11 months, 19 days, 21 hours, and 30 minutes ago. Thankfully, we got to connect, however, on the 2nd of August, face to face, 2018. Today, we're here again reconnecting to have a conversation. Dilly, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Wow. Now that I got Skype working. Love it. <laughs> you know, I remember it was just like yesterday. We connected at that hotel. The hotel yes. was a bit scary, wasn't it, though? Oh, I liked it. Ooh. At least what I saw it was very nice sort of quaint English Victorian thing. Yeah, it's Victorian. I think the one thing that made it scary is when we had one guest visit us and told us that they were once hunting for ghosts in that hotel. That was oh. the thing that spooked us out. Okay, yeah. that would do it. <laughs> <laughs> But other than that, you know, I didn't see any ghosts. I'm not sure if you can see ghosts, but I didn't see any ghosts and I'm thankful for that. But I did get to meet with amazing people like yourself. So please give us an update. It's been a year, right? Yeah. What's up? So last November, I finally sort of saw the light and said, I can't stand living here. And I was watching a guy that I know broadcasts on periscope the video twitter and telling people that don't like california they should move to places like arizona and all of a sudden i was like oh and at the time he was talking about people moving to the cooler areas of arizona but the company that i'm an advisor for their parent company has a call center in phoenix and i know other people in phoenix area and so that's why i'm moving to the phoenix area and maybe in a few years after I retire, I will move up into the mountains like uh, Prescott or Flagstaff mm -hmm. where it doesn't get so hot. But we'll see. Well, you know, I'm afraid, though, for you because I know you do bake some amazing cakes, but it's very possible that you may get baked No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to be super, super careful transporting cakes. Hmm. And nobody has events outside that have cake in the summer. And everywhere it's like air conditioned. So I'm going to have a big, huge freezer. And I might even actually have, not a walk-in, but get a commercial refrigerator. Yes. A big, huge commercial refrigerator to keep in my garage. Mm -hmm. So that I could keep a ton of stuff cool there. Because right now I have two full refrigerators with freezers and two half refrigerators. Wow. You know, under-counter type refrigerators mm -hmm. that I keep all my stuff in. And so it would probably be easier just to have one big refrigerator in the garage since I'll have a huge garage and I'm going to get a new build and I've already been there and discussed with a cabinet maker that he could make my cabinet similar to what I have now mm -hmm. except with a lot of improvements that I realized over the last 15 years need to be made <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting isn't it like... yeah it is it's just a little bit overwhelming because all of a sudden it's like okay you stop it working, now you got to go over and get everything done. And it's like, it's a lot less time than I thought there was. Yeah, I would think so. I would think so. So, so the move is on. You yes. have your sister with you, which is great, right? That yeah. definitely helps things in terms of the social side, right? You're not going to be out there lonely. No, but I have friends out there too, though. Okay. I think you're very entrepreneurial and... I'm fascinated by it because the cake that we had, like the emotions that go with the cake, mm -hmm. like this was a surprise. Like I didn't say, hey, I need a cake. There's a part of you that understands what goes with a cake, right? And mm -hmm. you could pull back straight to your earliest childhood memory, right? With mm -hmm. your cake and your mother baking that yep. yellow and white cake. <laughs> yes. It's amazing how your life is impacted by such small things. Would you say it's the love that exists around it? Oh, yeah. I mean, you posted a picture of that cake that I did last week. And I'll send you an email that the person I made it for sent me about the cake. <laughs> hmm. So, yeah, 
I mean, being able to surprise somebody with a cake is really fun. And I've done a lot of it lately. Yeah, you spoke about uh, negativity messing up your health. But I think it messes up your baking as well. And (laughs) (laughs) with baking like that, I can guess that there's a spiritual side of who you are, if Mm -hmm. I'm not wrong. So, I mean, tell me, how is that supported, your spiritual side? Well, there's a couple of things. I mean, I've done a lot of spiritual cakes. I get prophetic pictures of people, and I've done them on cupcakes. I did 133 prophetic cupcakes, mm-hmm. the pictures that I did saw for people and gave them for their birthdays. But I've also just, you know, done special cakes for people, and God speaks to me in the kitchen like he speaks to me nowhere else. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I can tell you the taste is Amazing. You know, just preparing for this conversation, I was just telling Amanda like a minute ago, and you know, I have Delia on next. I could do it a chocolate cake. And she melts because we're doing this fast, right? We're not eating, right? She's like, oh. oh. <laughs> so we have to find a way, and we need to check this out, right? To ship a cake, right? I'm sure it can be done. It can be done. The only issue is customs because, I mean, I can freeze a cake and ship it. Like one about probably a little bit bigger than the size that I made you. I've done it, including a decorated cake. But the problem is, is that the time it spends in customs, Mm -hmm. it can start thawing and stuff like that. So you'd have to contact Federal Express and find out how long it takes things to get through customs and stuff like that to see whether or not it would be possible. I've shipped them domestically, though. It's worth a try. On my side, I'm willing for the (laughs) investment, right? What's great as well is you wrote on there the power of a conversation, and that really stood out to us. Like I'm sure your customers have this challenge as well. Like, I didn't know how to begin cutting it. And then I was like, all right, (laughs) all in, right? Start at a corner. (laughs) You start as far away from the design and work all the way around the design. I think when I made my map cake, we cut all around all the ocean, did a whole map of the world Mm -hmm. cake. So we just cut ocean and said, okay, do you want some of the Indian Ocean? You want some of the Atlantic Ocean? (laughs) We like some of the Pacific Ocean. I mean, that's actually how we were doing it. Mm -hmm. And so we cut all the way around all. And so all we had left was land. And then we finally started cutting land. Delia, it's been almost 37 years. And you have been creating these chemical concoctions. More than 37. More than 37. Come on, tell me. Oh, yes. Well, I've been doing decorated cakes since I was at least 16, probably before, but I officially started doing it 41 years ago. Wow. When you look back, was it worth it? Have you found what's core to you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely been worth it. It's a major artistic outlet. I mean, I got super frustrated with this last cake because I was trying to do this little Norman Rockwell newsboy, you know, the ones that hand out the newspapers, the extra, extra, which is part of their logo, the company's logo, but I could not do his face. It ended up looking like a kid who had had um, a bike accident. <laughs> well, either that or they'd had major skin grafts <laughs> or a bad rendition of Alfred E. Newman on the Mad Magazine. I did it twice. And it was just horrible. I didn't take any pictures of it, but I couldn't match the color. I couldn't blend the colors between the shiny cheeks and the shadow on the side of his nose. And I just gave up and said, OK, we're just going to go simple so it looks good. And I just did the newspaper that he was holding and We'll put my words on there. It's September 2011. You started writing thanks. 10 things you were thankful for. Have you continued that? Yes, I have continued that. And on the 25th of this month, I will be at day 3000. Wow. I'm proud of you. It's really a grand opportunity, my friend, to check in, to have a conversation. It's motivating for me and inspirational that each person has their own unique real strength and when trusted there's an impact that can be made that crosses oceans and you've done that so thank you for your service to humanity my (laughs) friend in your own unique real way it's really great right thank you this is amazing so in closing my friend is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience 
Well, when we were meeting at the hotel, we were talking about me teaching people. And then I told you that I made videos of me teaching, showing how I do a cake. And in my bio, one of the things I'm planning to do is actually to start teaching classes online, either using Skype, a one, two-way, just one-on-one, or Zoom video, one on several, so I can demonstrate things and they can watch me and then they can share and I can watch them and coach them. That's wonderful. Wonderful. So the bio link will have that information where you can click and connect with you, right? Well, I just have my Facebook on there for the Delia's Desserts, but I don't have that whole business thing set up yet. It may be a aspect of Delia Desserts, but I haven't had a chance to practice with anybody. I'm trying to get some guinea pigs that I can practice with. Your first guinea pig is here. I'm going to speak <laughs> to Amanda, and we are going to be your first guinea pigs, yeah? We, yeah, that would be good. I still have to ask her, right? But you have Well, one, you have like... to get off of your fast first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, that helps. <laughs> Well, I haven't actually had cake for several months except a couple of bites of the wedding that I did, but that's it. So, yeah, that's my other thing that I want to do is to train people because I can bring in extra money there and I don't have to worry about health licenses and stuff to do that. Yeah, it's a great idea. I look forward to that. All right, my friend. Well, you are officially sitting in your father's chair as in that earliest childhood memory. You know, it's you're in that position. You're you're the driver of your journey, your destination. So well done. In closing, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? I think that's it. Well, Delia Ethi again, a great pleasure, pleasure, I treasure. Thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. This podcast is produced by Pod Edits. Visit podedits.com for professional podcast publishing. 